This video is made possible with the support of Headphones.com, the home of the 365-day return policy. Headphones.com has some of the best service and selection in the personal audio industry. Visit Headphones.com today for all your personal audio needs. Hey friends, my name is Marcello. Today I'm gonna to be giving you my impressions on the Felix Audio Elise Mark II OTL headphone amplifier that I purchased with my own money. No one has compensated me for this review and all thoughts and impressions are my own. For this review, I will be listening to the Elise paired with my own Topping D90 digital analog converter and my own Shit Bifrost 2, as well as AB listening to the Elise versus my Topping A90 solid state reference amp and the ZMF pendant tube amp, which I currently have in for review. As with all my audio reviews, I will utilize all headphones in my collection or any headphones that I have in for review to search for synergies with the Elise and what sounds good. I will cover five main topics, build quality, specifications, design, and quality of sound. Then I'll give my overall conclusions and leave my affiliate links in the video description to the gear discussed. If you end up deciding you wanna make a purchase, it greatly helps the channel if you use one of my links. First, let's talk a little bit about Felix Audio. Felix Audio is a family company who has, at the time of this video, been developing and manufacturing tube amplifiers for over 10 years. All Felix Audio products are in-house engineered, assembled, and tuned at their factory in Poland. Felix Audio takes great pride in their craftsmanship, with both quality of sound as well as the visual aesthetics of each product. Felix Audio has a loyal fan base, and at the time of this video, manufactures in the pure output transformerless topology, the Euphoria, their flagship OTL, the Elise, which we will be discussing today, the Expressivo Mark II, and the Echo. So let's get right into it. Starting with the build quality, specs, and design of the Elise, the Elise uses a new high-end audio class transformer, providing improved stability over previous generations of the amplifier. With this new transformer, it also has more power and better resistance to external interference. The Elise is still an OTL amplifier, however, and great care should be made to keep the amplifier away from Wi-Fi devices, cellular phones, and routers, as they all can interfere with the sound quality. The body of the amp looks solid and feels like it's built like a tank. One nitpick I have with the build is really the finish of the metal. Unfortunately, dirt and smudges are easily picked up from just touching it and normal use. The volume control has a very nice feel in the fingers when turning with no imbalance to my ears. The markings around the volume control and on the top of the volume control are extremely difficult to see, especially in dark listening environments. So that could be one other nitpick I have with a build. This is something to take into consideration if you are thinking of purchasing this amp. You may want to look at other ways to better visually mark the volume control. The Elise uses PS Vane 6S N7 driver tubes and has a myriad of options to roll tubes to change the sound and make it truly your own. The tubes will require at a minimum 50 hours of burn in to start sounding their best and will be fully burned in around 100 hours or so according to Felix Audio's North America dealer. In the box, you receive one matched pair of PS Vane 6S N7 driver tubes and one matched pair of power tubes 6N13S new old stock. The tubes have a beautiful glow from them that is incredible to look at in a dark room while you're listening to your favorite music. 
The Elise has a frequency response of 10 kilohertz to 60 kilohertz and utilizes input output safeguards, which eliminate power on and off noises. Power output on the Elise is 200 milliwatts. The Elise also includes a pretty great sounding preamp feature with a 20 dB gain. As far as what headphones the Elise can drive, for my current headphones on hand, it did very good in my opinion with all the dynamic driver 300 ohm headphones I tested with it, such as the ZMF Verte Open, the ZMF Eolus, Sennheiser 6XX, but sounded distorted with the 29 ohm Rad Zero Planner Magnetic headphone. The other planner magnetic headphone I had on hand to test the Elise with was the Hyphenman SE1000, which is a 35 ohm headphone, which were able to be driven pretty well from the Elise. Lastly, the Elise has a quarter inch single ended headphone output with a small blue light that is on when the amp is in operation. I will link to Felix website so you can go into greater details about the specs of the amplifier if you would like to learn a bit more than what I'm providing today in the video. So now that we talked about the design and build, let's get into the most important part, in my opinion, how does the Elise sound? As we all know, sound and the perception of sound is a very subjective thing. So anytime I give my impressions on how a piece of audio equipment sounds, it's my subjective opinion. You may have a different opinion and that's totally cool. Don't sweat it. And you also may have a different chain and that also can play a big factor into formulating your conclusions about different audio gear. No big deal. With that said, I found the Elise to have a silky smooth presentation. That reminded me of listening to music as a youngster with a warm blanket, fresh from the dryer, wrapped around me on a rainy day. The Elise emphasizes to my ears the mid-range, with a warm low-end bass signature that isn't bloomy, but also isn't super tight or dry. It is definitely one of the warmest, luscious sounding amps I have heard thus far. This signature allows for hours of fatigue free listening, never ever sounding harsh or sharp when paired with say the HE1000SE, which can come across a bit brighter from certain genres and from certain instruments. The Elise takes that warm blanket of sound and wraps it gently around the HE1000SE, making them sound a bit more relaxed and less in your face or immediate sounding. However, some listeners may not prefer this from those headphones, and it is ultimately going to come down to what is your preference. The Elise may be a good pairing for bright or treble forward headphones if you are looking to relax their sound signature a bit at times and want an alternative to another amp you currently have in your collection. If you are a detail, more lean forward type of listener enjoying tighter bass with a faster, more energetic sound signature, well, the ZMF Pendant for me hits a sweet spot when paired with the HE1000SE in a similar price range as the Elise. The Verte Open and the Elise are also a very special pairing with the Verte Open sounding even more three-dimensional when comparing to a solid state amp. The Elise takes an already beautiful sounding mid-range from the Verte and amplifies it, making vocals sound even sweeter. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications for my videos so you don't miss my full review of the ZMF Verte Open coming soon. When listening to the ZMF Eolus, the stage seems to expand to my ears, pulling you to the center of the music, which sounds just rich and beautiful. The Eolus audibly level up when paired with the Elise versus a solid state amp. There's definitely some magic with the Elise and the ZMF headphones I have on hand. My Sennheiser 6XX from Drop seemed to have new life whispered smoothly into them from the lovely breath of the Elise. The Sennheiser also scale up in sound, with the stage expanding slightly, and their already lovely tonality sounds even richer in presentation compared to the topping A90 solid state reference amp. If you enjoy a lusher sound that is not as dry sounding as a solid state amp or tube hybrid, the Elise might be worth giving a listen to. So let's dive a bit more deeply into the ZMF Pendant and Felix Elise comparison. We already did a live stream discussing this comparison, which I will link at the end of this video, but I will go into it a bit more here in this review as many of you from the community have asked for this comparison and you may have not seen that live stream. When comparing the Elise to the Pendant, I did notice a bit more noise from the tubes from the Elise than from the Pendant when using the Verte Open. Not enough though to change my impressions of the amp negatively, however, it still sounds incredible. 
I would add that I currently have the latest 2019 version of the ZMF pendant with Burl Base on hand as well, so I can't speak for any older iterations of the pendant. So right out the gate to my ears, the Elise sounds more relaxed and romantic, if you will, than the pendant. While the pendant sounds like the more exacting, detailed of the two amps with better technical performance. Listening to MTV Unplugged Pearl Jam Live with the Verite Open and the Elise and the vocals have a bit more intimate presentation with a more euphonic overall sound compared to the ZMF pendant. The Elise to my ears is a more psychedelic sounding cocktail of liquid warmth, making the vocals the main attraction when listening. The pendant, on the other hand, sounds more balanced, faster, drier, and tighter, not allowing uh, some of the instruments to blend with the vocals, as I hear at times when listening to the Elise. Both amps sound terrific. It is really a matter of what you prefer, as well as the DAC and headphones you are going to use with each to get the proper audio synergy. Listening next to Random Access Memories, Song 3, Giorgio. The pendant sounds cleaner, crisper, with more impact. The synths sound more defined. A great point on this track I used to really dig in and compare these two amps was around 525 mark to the 615 mark. The sounds of all the instruments sound incredible to my ears from the pendant and the Verite open. Nothing seems to get lost in the mix to my ears. Staging seems to be more precise from the pendant versus the Elise. When listening to this genre of music, to my ears, the pendant would be most likely my first choice. Every note, every transient, every pluck of a string can be placed. Sounds I couldn't easily distinguish on solid state amps, let alone the Elise, are now easily distinguishable on the track when listening via the pendant. Switching to the Elise, and again, Giorgio's voice sounds even more lovely, reaffirming the special quality the Elise does have with vocals. Overall, the Elise sounds less crisp, having less impact, and not as black of a background, if you will. The subtle changes in the music and faster transients are harder to distinguish compared to the pendant to my ears. It's not that the details aren't there necessarily from the Elise, it's just that you have to listen much more carefully to really pick up on them. An analogy would be when listening to this specific track, the pendant sounds like high-res audio, where the Elise sounds like 16-bit CD quality. However, if one wanted a faster, more defined presentation from the Elise, you definitely have the ability to roll brighter tubes to better shape the sound signature you may be looking for with the Elise. Many listeners, however, will love the warm lush sound of the Elise as it is in stock configuration. So don't take that as it's not a great amp. I think a closer comparison as far as technical performance would be between the Euphoria from Felix Audio and the Pendant. I listened to many other tracks and albums when comparing these two amps and came to my overall conclusion that they both are terrific and it will really come down to a listener's preferences. Sometimes you want a more relaxed listen, you know, and on some days I wanted only to hear that more relaxed romantic sound that the Elise presented, especially with beautiful sounding female vocalists. Oh, wonderful. On other days I wanted to hear the pendant with its more energetic, drier resolving sound signature. Stay tuned for my full review of the ZMF pendant coming soon. One note, after about 45 days of listening, I did determine that I preferred the Bifrost 2 over the D90 DAC with the Elise and felt it staged better and displayed the euphonic sound signature of the Elise better than the topping D90 could. In conclusion, the Felix Audio Elise is a beautiful sounding amp that pairs really well with the ZMF and Sennheiser headphones I listen to it with. It may also pair well with some planar magnetic headphones depending on their impedance and the sound signature that you like or prefer. If you enjoy just melting away into your music in a warm bath of rich sounds and want an amp that presents vocals with elegance and grace from your favorite vocalists, I highly recommend you give the Felix Audio Elise a listen. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe for many more upcoming videos and show your support by leaving a thumbs up and a comment. Smash that like button. Thanks again, friends. I appreciate you all. Until next time, much love.